Linda Radley, new head of English. This is her first HOD post, but not before time. Flattery will get you everywhere. Never know, we might be giving you the eye. Have you not got the message? Is she one? What, part of your body and my brains? Body, maybe. The right woman is out there, somewhere. How was the honeymoon? It was fine, thank you. Fine? It was amazing. Mrs Diamond wants three sides on sexual reproduction. That's all my area of expertise. Is that all you think about? That's her ex you're slagging off. Jess? You and Michael had a bit of a fling just before you saw the light, eh, hey, darling? Should never have left you. You know what? I never really liked whiskey. Finish his coursework. I can't even think straight, my head's banging. Why don't you go and get a couple of hours, put your head down. I can tell school you're in. Look, Ronnie, you don't get it. I'm resitting, this is my last chance. Look, please, will you just let me concentrate? Okay. Just don't push yourself too hard, yeah? Tidy up when I get back. Did you know the wrench do on this place? Yeah, I know. We're uh, short by 50 quid. And, uh, oh, let me guess. You spend that on fruit? Uh, don't worry. I'll have enough when I sell this lot. Don't worry. That's all I've done since we moved in here. Ta da! Happy birthday, son. It's all yours. Do you like it? Best present I've ever had. Can I ride it to school? Yeah. How else are you going to impress the girls? Dad, could I get a quad bike when I'm 16? <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> oh, best be off. <laughs> right. And please, please be careful on that thing. Yeah. And um, thanks, Dad. See you later. Give us a backy then. Don't be stupid. Have a nice walk. Please say we've got another ink cartridge. Oh, oh brilliant. Well, you just take care of yourself, never mind about me. It's Maddie. What does she want? Uh, she's getting me some of them plastic containers. You told her to come? Yeah. Hey, you right. right. I got uh, Oh, great. Hey, you right. Yeah. There you go. You can have the heavy one. Oh, thank you. Right, see you bet. Okay, are we going to do this? Come on, pop. Okay. I'll get the door. I'll use it, that's it. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Very good to see you back, sir. Good morning, ladies. You all right? I've got to go hand my course with Ken. I'll see you later. Just face it, Finn. She just doesn't like you. Right, sir. <laughs> So I made this sound cold up. You? Where'd you get this? It's a birthday present. Happy birthday. Oh, you jammed me get. Have you seen this? Trying to impress. Take for a ride later if you want. Nice bike, Phoenix. Do you have a license for it? Of course he has. Scout. Emily, you should both be in your form rooms. Off you go. Later, yeah. Come on, let's get this home, please. It's a present. I'm 16 today. Exactly. It's your birthday today, so I know you haven't had a chance to do your CBT, which means it's illegal for you to be riding it. Come on, sir, if you just got a brand new set of wheels, do you want to show them off as well? I'll tell your form tutor that you'll be a little bit late. Great. Thanks a lot. Many happy returns. Scrum machine. Looks more like an instrument of torture than sports equipment. Why is Michael so into rugby, anyway? It's changed, Homer. Embrace it. He wants the kids to try different things. <laughs> oh. What do you reckon? Very good. It's going to take more than a fancy kit to win the game, though. Well, me and Sean are going to be celebrating tonight. You just name your restaurant. No expense spared. Why don't you concentrate on preparing the team for this game instead of worrying about where you're going to eat this evening? I've got it under control. Well, let's hope so. Hasn't exactly been the best start now, has it? We'll see you later. And Jeremy, good luck. Today's match was my idea, so let's make sure we win. Well, St Mary's have been playing rugby since Bruce Forsyth was a lad. Crashes on, Jazz. Yeah, well, we'll win, all right? Whatever happens, I think you've done an amazing job. Yeah, well, give me a football any day of the week. You think I'm up to it, though, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. But you've put everything into this, and you're my husband. See you in a bit. Everyone from Chuck is there. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish that I looked as good as you after. You know. Arteriosclerosis of the cardiac arteries. You're back. That's the main thing. Thanks. Tea? Coffee? Uh, no. Don't drink this stuff. Right, listen. The lads have been working really, really hard. And the improvements we've had in the time we've had have been amazing. That's Linda. She's going to be uh, referee in the match. Ken Watkin. Jez tells me you played for Harlequins. Women refs. <laughs> God help us. I'm fully qualified. I don't care how many exams you got, love. If you haven't played the game in men, you shouldn't be allowed to referee him. I thought Cro Magnon Man went extinct 35,000 years ago. Ken, I'll show you around, mate. Who's that? Jez's misogynistic rugby mentor. He thinks I should be chained to a sink, not refereeing a rugby match. Rugby mentor? He didn't tell me. He'll soon change his mind when he sees me in my shorts. Don't doubt it. These'll go like hotcakes. Could you do me another hundred for tomorrow? Yeah, no problem. I might have to look at the price again, though. I'm practically giving this lot away. Ronan, you're robbing me already. Come on, 90 pence a unit, what do you say? I say you drive a hard bargain. But OK. Are you good at that? How much are you going to make? Nothing. I've got no money for stock. Oh, I need to pay this month's rent. Vicky's going to kill me. Well, I can get money. Dad lets me use his credit card. No, I couldn't. He never checks his bank statements. You tell me what you want, I'll get it, and you pay my dad back. Well, I'll have to take a cut, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be amazing. But I'm not going to tell Vicky about this. I just want to keep it as a surprise. Well, I charge more for my silence. <laughs> 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 Look, I could really do with the help. 
You never know, you might even enjoy it. Look, I know you're trying to cheer me up, my but I'm fine, honestly. Thanks for trying, though. <sighs> OK, I am trying to cheer you up. And do you know what? I actually hate people that do that to me. But, might take your mind off things. I haven't played for ages, though. Hmm? My room. Lunch time. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry about before. I'm sorry about the ink. It's all right. Look, can you just give this fruit business a rest just till there's less pressure? <laughs> what pressure? I mean, for you, exams and that aren't a problem. Yeah, well, I just can't afford to mess up this time. You, Miss MacDonald, are a genius. You'll ace it. Mrs Diamond loves you, and I love you. Yeah. OK, no problem. I'll, uh, I'll leave it a few weeks, yeah? Nelson. What, with one arm and a dodgy eye? <laughs> I'm his son. All oh, right. Uh, he's there. Hey, what are you doing here? Mr Byrne won't let me take my moped into school. He sent me home. That's a flaming cheat. What did he do that for? Rules, apparently. I've been thinking about leaving. What did Mr Byrne say? He said I'm 16, so I can leave when I want. Right. Go on, let's get you kitted out. What for? You can come and work for me. Welcome to the working world. Why bring a coach in on a day of a match? Over to you, mate. Dad says it's about trying to get us all focused on that. Playing as a team. Sounds a bit desperate to me. We're going to get slaughtered, man. <whistles> right, boys, over here. <laughs> this is Ken Watling. He's a professional rugby coach, and he's ex-Harlequins prop forward. He's one of the best. Mr Diamond, you got a second. This is a school initiative, Jeremy. You should have consulted me before bringing in an outsider. No offence. I'm taken. You told me to think big. I've turned footballers into rugby players in weeks. This is just a bit of extra help. Mr Byrne, isn't it? Yeah, what about you? Got stabbed by a kid, yeah? And he walked? <laughs> should have thrown away the key, the little scrote. He better be worth it. I am. Go, kid. Right. Who's captain? Right, you. Shift this thing with me and it five yards that way. Come on. What, on me own? Uh, no. Go and get some year seven girls to help you. Of course, on your own, you fool. Come on. Get. Ready? Three, two, one. Sit. Yeah! Go on, my knee. Go on. Hey! Go on, put those calves, sunshine. Go on. Put those calves, lad. Oh, oh. Wait a second, wait a second. I forgot to take off the break. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he passed the captain's test. He never gave up, see, boys? He never gave up. And the good news is Ken's going to be working with you after break. So, yes, that means you're all off timetable. Mm -hmm. Sir, I can't make it after break. Ronan, you've got... Oi! It's not up for debate, son. Do you want to lead this team or not? Go on, off you go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Uh, that's Zach, he's our scrum off. Is he bloody heckers like? I see Mum making a sparrow's kneecap. He's quick. So's diarrhea. Look, you've got to say, Jess, some of these lads don't look like rugby players. Don't tell me you're into mixed ability sport. No. 
but I think everyone should be given a chance to shine. Look, sport is about winning, yeah? So all this is the taking part that counts. <laughs> I just hope Jeremy understands how important this game is. It's not just about rugby, this is about aspiration. Helping these kids strive to be better. Yeah, I get it. You want to put the school on the map, but there's no need to speak to Jess like that. He's done an amazing job at setting this up. I'm sorry, you're right. It's just very hard for me seeing you with him. I meant what I said. I know. Vicky. Everything OK? Yeah, fine, sir. Just got along. We've got high hopes for you, Vicky. Have you thought any more about what university you might want to go to? Leeds has a great science department. I was um, thinking about London. Well, you know where I am if you want to chat through your options. Are you sure about this? Look, I said I'd help you. I've only got that after break. No, I mean about the money. Stop worrying. It's not like my dad can't afford it. I've been trying to get you love me I've been trying to get you to kill put for the love of effort but I just don't seem to get nowhere Why are they all scared here? Two weeks here, you'll be the same. Wouldn't it be weird having me here? No. It means I'll be able to keep an eye on you. Plus, you're someone I could trust to do a good job. I think I'll be a brickie. You can earn 400 quid a day. Good. You know what? This is well better than school. So pushing it like this, yeah? Knees on top must be about 20 stone easy. No way. And everyone's like, go on, Ro, go on, Ro. So pushing it, yeah? And he just jumps off and takes the break out. Well, why did he pick on you? Oh, well, I'm captain, huh? Reckon he wanted to see if I was up for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Having a nice time. Oh, you're right, Vicky. Look, I think you should tell her now. Tell me what? The canteen want him to do another 100. It's good money, Vic. Let me guess. Spent the rent money. No, I lent it to him. It, it's a loan. I'm paying it back. Get out. But Vicky, I was just. Get out. Maddie's a mate. You had no right to talk to her like that. I know what's going on here, Roman. No, you don't. I got an order. A chance for us to make some money. No, once I've sold this lot, I'll have enough money for the rent and some left over. I don't care about the rent. I never asked to move into that flat. You just went ahead and did it. I did it for us because I thought it would help. Help what? You don't get it, Ro. I am stressed out of my mind. I've got you banging on all the time. All I want to do is concentrate on my work. So let me do my thing and I'll let you do yours. Look, I get that you want to do well in your exams, but can you try and be a bit nicer sometimes? That's why I asked Maddie to help me. Because she was interested. Because she didn't look at me like I was some sort of loser. Because she fancies you! Yeah, well, at least someone does. Vicky, wait! Ah! Timmy, stop it! Ah! Leave me alone! Stop! Vicky, stop! Help! Stop it! <laughs> Listen to this. Ken Watling, not the most gifted of forwards, what he lacked in skill, he made up for in sheer brute force. What? Look, I've got to go. I'll see you in class, yeah, mate. Meet me for lunch. What? I can't. Back in the canteen. I'll be waiting. I'm really sorry. Ronan. Everything's just getting to me. I feel like people are just watching me and waiting for me to fail. Not me, Vic. I never doubted you. I know. Sometimes that makes it worse. I'm just scared that if I do fail, I won't be the person that you want me to be. 
I never cared about your achievements. I just wanted to make you happy. I am so sorry, Roman. I was just in this state and I saw you and Maddie and I just lost it. I need to be getting back. Ronan, please. Let's just forget this ever happened, yeah? Yeah, of course. So, you're getting your asses kicked and there's ten to go. Where do you turn to for inspiration? The coach. No. He'll be as much used to you as tits on a bull. <laughs> <laughs> it's the captain's job to motivate the team. Go on, man. Go on, man. Go on, man. Shouldn't we be talking about tactics and stuff? Oh, what a good idea. Tactics and stuff. Right then. Why don't you get the ball rolling? <laughs> right, come on, stand up, everyone, on your feet. Well, you want to join hands, yeah, with a team. Every player is a vital link, yeah? Hey, come on. You're going to have your head between sweaty male thighs in a few hours, so what's worse? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's wrong, sunshine? Doesn't your girlfriend let you hold hands with anybody else, no? <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. Let's go and show everybody with a team, yeah? Yeah! yeah! Let's go, go, go! <laughs> Joining us? Right, coursework files, please. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Vicky? Uh, miss, can I give you mine tomorrow? Vicky, this is becoming a habit. Yeah, I just need more time. How did you get that? Oh, um, <laughs> I just walked into a cupboard door. Yeah, let me see it. No, I... Uh, I need a clamp. When did this happen? Uh, this morning. Vicky, is something the matter? No, why? Look, I walked into a door, it happens. Fine. But I want that working tomorrow, no excuses. Apparently, his dad's working on some new apartments in the city centre. There's the address. Thanks, Janice. Can I have a word? Yeah, but you'll have to be quick. I've got a building site to visit. Really? Yeah. Phoenix Taylor's been AWOL all day. I'm going to talk to his dad, see if we can't get it sorted. What was it you wanted? Ronan Burley. I think he might be physically abusing Vicky McDonald. What? She was fine earlier. She's got a black eye now. I know it doesn't sound like Ronan. No, it doesn't. Look into it. Let me know. Those two, eh? Can't prize them apart. Oh, I know. They make a dead good team, don't they? Oh, you mean them two? God, no. Sean's married. Janice, you have a very suspicious mind. Maddie, I wondered if I could have a word. It's about Vicky McDonald and Ronan. Oh, well, if it's gossip you're after, you'll have to go elsewhere. I'm not asking you to pry. I was just wondering if they've been having any problems. Vicky's under a lot of pressure. Well, so is Ronan, in case you hadn't noticed. Yeah, but running a fruit and vegetable isn't quite the same as A-level chemistry, is it? Of course not. Look, I know you like Ronan. Yeah, as a mate. What's that? Oh, it's my dad's credit card. I borrowed it. That's our credit card. Yeah, well, I wanted some clothes. You let me. Oh, go on then. Go ask my dad if you don't believe me. Don't worry, I will. Right, lads, I don't mind telling you. Mr. Byrne has been putting pressure on me, on us. It's not only football that's important at Waterloo Road. This is a big game. A big game for the school. Zach. Sorry, mate, but Tarek's going to take over a scrum half and you're going to drop back to the bench. Yeah. Well, well, all right, 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 right
You deal with it. My right, girls. Mr. Diamond. Let's talk game plan. We wait here. Tarek, listen, you're number nine now. Charles, I'm really busy. I've just caught Maddie using our credit card. Look, there's three payments to a beauty clinic for 250 quid a time. Our money, Jez, and she says you let her. Um, I, uh, actually, I told her that she could just use it in an emergency. Jez, you can't buy their affections. Uh, I'm not. Look, I I'll speak to her. No, I'll do it. I'll sort it, I promise. So don't worry, I'll be diplomatic. No, look, you really can't. The beauty clinic thing isn't her. Uh... It's me. What? I've had a few... I've had some work done. Botox, I mean, just, just the eyes, nowhere else. You've had Botox? Oh, Simon Cowell has it done, doesn't he? What for? You're 36. I felt like I needed to. Oh, come on, Sean. You and I both know that I have to work a bit harder in the looks department. So you're saying you did this because of me? Can't you wait till you get him home, miss? <laughs> Ronan Burley, I would watch very carefully what I say if I were you. <laughs> can we just... Can we, can we talk about this later? I mean, I'm under the caution. Show no fear. Look into your opponent's eyes, OK? No fear whatsoever. Phoenix? Mr Smith? All right. He should be at school. He's 16. Surely he can make his own mind up. No, he can't start working until he leaves. Well, let's just call it work experience till then. Come on, Mr Byrne. The lad wants to take his place in the big white world. What happened this morning with the bike? Just goes to prove he's outgrown school. What happened with the bike? I think we both know he shouldn't even have been given the bike until he'd taken the appropriate training course. Look, I agree maybe Phoenix is frustrated, but is quitting really the answer? Well, it didn't do me any harm. I've, I've done all right for myself. Do you know what he scored in his last maths test? He got a B. It could easily have been an A if he'd put a few more hours in. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is he's a good student. He could have options. He got a B, really? Yes. Well, you don't get that from me. But it doesn't take away from the fight that he just doesn't want to be there. Well, have you asked him? Phoenix, come here. Mr. Byrne here reckons that you don't really want to quit school. Dad, honestly, I love it here. Finally, I feel like I'm being taken seriously. Tell you what, we'll give the lad a week to work it out, and if it don't pan out, he can come back to you in your equations. I don't think you understand. He doesn't have a choice. I'm his dad. I want what's best for him. His dad? Forgive me, but you sound more like one of his classmates. I want him back in school by the end of the day. And don't make me involve the authorities. Bye, sir. I thought you said he was all right with you leaving. You better be sure that this is what you want to do. Look at him. The old mum shows more aggression when she's queuing for a pension. Yeah, well, no more changes. I can't risk it. Oi, come here. Um, what are you doing? I need him. I think your attitude stinks, son. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. Don't you laugh at me. I'll rip your bloody head off, right? Um, can we calm down? Calm down. Do you want to win this match or what? If you want me off the team, I'm gone. No problem, Ronan. Stay put. Oh, just let him go. Rugby's a man's game, Jess. You know? Get off! <laughs> Set your alarm if you're going to take me on, sunshine, yeah? Right. You're the captain. End of. <laughs> With him as captain, you're going to get slaughtered. I've made my decision. You don't want my help? Fine. <laughs> Good luck to you. You're going to bloody well need it. Ken, uh, where are you going? We've still got the line-outs to go through. Ronan, where are you off to? I quit. Sorry, sir. Circuits. <whistles> Aha, the legend. Ready to rock? I uh, hope you don't mind that. I brought my own. Cool. All right, sir. Better get the oxygen for Mr. Chalk, just in case he. Um... <laughs> right, settle down, everyone, please. Mr. Chalk is here. 
to learn with you all, OK? And help a bit, if you can. Sir, this looks really difficult. Sir, can you play? Oh, I, I haven't played for a, a while, you know, years. I'll play something. Can you play... Uh, Rihanna? Oh, na na, what's my name? Right, that's probably not Mr Chalk's taste, is it? Oh, go on, try it. Well, I, I, I don't know that song, sorry. Just play anything, sir. Go on, sir. Yes. Come on, sir. Oh, oh, no way out of this, is there? Um, right, here's one for you. It's a much smaller ball. Hand to eye coordination. Some people have it, others don't. Well, I'm more of a lips to lips coordination kind of guy. <laughs> Mr. Cheese, or what? We're mates, remember? Yeah, mates kiss. <laughs> Look, I don't know if I'm feeling this whole mates thing. We agreed. And now I'm changing my mind. I'm allowed to change my mind, aren't I? Is that what you say? You just want us to be mates. No, I'm not saying that. Maybe we could just... It's not so bad, does it? You know what Ronan did? The scumbag. What? Anything we can do, just ask. You don't have to put up with that, you know that, Vic. about the match? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. So sorry. Um, I've just... I've got a lot on my mind, so... Well, anything I can help you with? No. I'm a good listener. Problems shared and all that. I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Oh, go on. I've heard them all. Jez has had Botox. You're joking. It showed up on our credit card statement. We spent a fortune on it, Linda. <sighs> I'm sorry, but... A bit young to have it done, isn't he? He said he did it to keep up with me. Can you believe that? That just shows you. Men can be as sensitive about their looks as us. And they all have their little secret, Sean. It's not the secret. It's, it's just a level of narcissism I didn't really expect from him, that's all. <laughs> Janice? Michael says she's as good at keeping her mouth shut as she is at typing letters. Well, you should know. I mean, with you being his deputy, he can confide in you. Go on. What's he really like behind that super head mask? <sighs> it's been a while since I spent any proper time with him. I bet he's broken a few hearts along the way. I, uh, I wouldn't know. Excuse me, Zach. Zach, you okay? Thought you'd be getting ready by now. Dad's booted me off the team. 
What? Why? Is it giving you a reason? He's losing it. That Ken bloke's gone. And Ronan's quit. Why did Ronan quit? Dunno. I think it's got something to do with him and Vicky. Look, your dad, um, he's under a lot of pressure today. You know, this rugby thing, he's got to make it work. So. Whatever. People are saying you fit Vicky. Well, is it true? Well, then, is it true? Look, it's none of your business. It's none of anyone's business, so keep this out. I'd like a word, Ronan. What for? I think that's obvious, don't you? Miss, you wanted to see me? We're gonna sort this out. There's nothing to sort out. This is between me and Vicky. We don't tolerate violence in the school, do you understand me? Oh, we should just explain. So it's true then? Why would they do that though? Don't know, mate. Yes, guys, are you all set for the match in a bit? I was just looking for Mr. Diamond, then one seen her. Uh, last seen having a row with the missus. Oh, <laughs> you know why that is, don't you? He's had Botox and he's spent an absolute fortune on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that's a, that's a D card. Oh, wicked. OK, folks, same time tomorrow. Thanks, sir. Well, well, well. Had no idea you were so good. Yes, yeah, spent on my own in my bedroom. The original William Nor mates. Oh, a bit more wallowing there. I'm sorry I'm not dancing up and down the corridors. I'm going to be on beta blockers for the rest of my life. Oh, come on. This isn't you. You're not a naturally morose person. Yeah, right. Right, I'm going to be selfish here, OK? I need the old Chalky back. Preferably the one who plays guitar better than I do. See you later. <sighs> Violence against women is never justified. It's not Ronan. Come on, Vic. Well, he didn't hit me. I hit him. But he would never hit me, never. Look, I understand you want to protect him. No. I hit him. Maybe I should talk to you separately. You must be under a lot of pressure here. Yeah, but not by him, if that's what you mean. The only problem here is people with big gobs who don't know anything. Look, thanks, miss. Thanks for trying to help, but... You can just jump into conclusions. Me and Ronan are absolutely fine. Right, you lot. Go and get ready. Good luck, boys. Uh, what are you two playing at? Takes years off your ace there. Good for the skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Shut it, the lot of you. I'll see you on the pitch in five minutes. Everything's just getting to me. I'm scared of failing, scared of letting everyone down. It's all these expectations, like you, Mrs Diamond, Mr Byrne. Oh, Vicky's our top student pictures in the Gazette. Yeah, but you hit me. I know you're under pressure, but... I don't know what to do. I don't either. I want to stop this. No. I want you to keep doing it. I don't want people thinking that you hit me. I'll deal with it. Don't worry. I'm going to go finish some work. I'll meet you at the gates, yeah? yeah. Right then. Did you hit Vicky? But I've heard the rumours, but I need to hear it from you. Well, then there's no reason you can't be playing, then, is there? Look, if you're not out there, we are going to get hammered. It's as simple as that. Look, it's up to you. But if you do, I'll be there cheering you on. Well, there you are. I mean, she obviously wants you to play. Right, look at me. Everyone's going to have a go about the Botox, but I don't care. 
Botox? Yeah, I had a bit. Look, what I'm trying to say is that it's walked off a duck's back. This isn't the same as people knowing you've had Botox. Ronan, I need you. You've got ten minutes till kick-off. No, 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 I've not had a chance to work it out yet. Five minutes? You're joking me. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right, OK. Is that school? No, and why aren't you working? Nothing to do. What's the problem? I've got five minutes to tell the supplier how much stone to send, but some daft old sod's done the measurement in old money. He's done it in yards instead of metres. It's well easy to convert. We do it in mass all the time. Can you do it? Yeah. You got a pencil? Yeah. Are you sure this is right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I am, mate. It's me again. Right, I've got it. It's 64 cubic metres. Yeah, nice one. Hey. Some impressive stuff going on there, son. No. Back to school. What? Oh. Hey. No wonder that headmaster come here to fetch you back. I like it. He said I could stay. No, that Mr. Byrne was right. You don't belong here on a building site, especially now I know my son's a genius. Dad. Phoenix, you've been here five minutes and you're bored out of your mind. No, you're going back and you're leaving that bike here and all. I'll ride that home for you. The lads could do with a laugh. Come on. Good luck, lads. And you. Looks like you're gonna need it. Right, boys, this is it. We keep our shape, keep our discipline, and remember, beat your opposite number. But yeah, what's he doing here? I ain't playing with it. You'll do as you're told, or you can go and see Mr. Byrne and tell him why you're prepared to let the school down. Didn't expect to hear you defending women's rights. Anyone laid a finger on my sis? Kill him. Right, Ronan, you're fallback. Alex? Sub's bench for you, mate. No, oh, that's just shady. Right. Go. It's a waste of time. They don't want me here. Look, forget about this lot. You're on. You all right? It could be better. I bet you wish you were playing with girls, don't you, Ronan? Oh, shut up. Oh, yeah. And you're gonna make me, are you? What happens between Vicky and Ronan is their business. No one else is. <laughs> this is a girl that fancies Ronan. Hey, good luck. Three, two, one, six, two, four. Yeah? 
Ronnie didn't do anything. He didn't hit me. I hit him. <laughs> Could you lot worse than that? But this isn't the time, Jez. Vicky, off the pitch now. No. Not till they know the truth. Not till everyone knows the truth. Look, just tell them. I'm not having you taking the blame for something that I did. We don't have to justify ourselves to this law. Look, you just tell them we're getting hammered here. Please, Ronan, just tell them. <sighs> All right, I didn't hit Vicky. She's telling the truth. We'll have to get the bruise then. I hit it on a shelf. You didn't do anything. I'm sorry. Right, come on, let's play rugby. Come on, boys. Oh, me. Oh, oh, sorry. Come on, boys. Let's do it. Yes. Come on, Leo. Yes, boy. Good call, good call. Phoenix, good to see you. Are you back? My dad says I'm to say sorry. Sorry, sir. Apology accepted. You made the right decision, you know that. Good. Go and watch the game. Well, whatever you said works. Oh, that didn't take much. He's a good father, really. You're lucky to have him. Phoenix has got a lot of potential. Tenacity, teamwork, dedication, never giving up. Well done! Well done, Okay, try Good guy, you're a cheat. Oh, there's nothing to be like that, mate, is there? Jeremy, a word. Give me one reason why I shouldn't sack you now. I just watched you disallow a perfectly good try. It looked out to me. But we just won the game. You saw the buzzy guy the boys. I want to build a culture of success, not one of dishonesty. If you can't tell the difference. Great performance, just what the school needs. We do not need a reputation for cheating. What? Who cheated? Jeremy did. Please tell me he's wrong. Look, I just gave us the benefit of the doubt, that was all. What is wrong with you? Oh, come on, Sean. It's not, it's not that big a deal, is it? You've made us look like idiots, Jeremy. Played, sir. Good to meet you, mate. Nice one, sir. Cheers, sir. <laughs> Wait for me, yeah? Yes. <laughs> 
Ronan. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I couldn't just stand there and let you take the blame. I said I'd deal with it. Can we just go home? I'm going out around town tonight. Where's she going? I'll see you later. Ronan. Yes, taking the fruit to the canteen, then we're going out. We don't bother coming home. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I just... Well, I'm sorry, OK? This isn't going to work. No, I, I said I'm sorry. Can we just go home? Please don't do this to me, please. I'm not coming back tonight, yeah? Go, then! I don't care if you never come home! Out. Phoenix, I just wanted to say I was uh, really impressed with your playing earlier on. It's got good technique. Not as good as you, sir. Yeah, well, you know. Listen, if you um, wanted any extra lessons, as long as Mr. Wilding's OK with it, then I'm happy to help. Serious? Of course. Oh, great. Well, uh, we start tomorrow then, shall we? Uh, tell Denzel and Emily they're welcome as well. Oh, cheers, sir. <laughs> See you later. Dad, Dad, what's going on? Everyone's saying you cheated. Just leave my credit card alone, right? Well, is it true? Looks like we've got nothing to celebrate. Ronan, can I have a word, please? Just give us a minute. I owe you an apology. I'm sorry I didn't leave you and Vicky. It's OK, miss. No, it's not. I jumped to conclusions. Are you OK? Well, you know where I am. We can help you, both of you. There's, there's counselling and all sorts. We're fine. Well, thanks, miss. And Vicky, is she all right? What she did was unacceptable, but I'm still worried about her. Keep an eye on her, Ronan. She's not as tough as she makes out. <laughs> what were your job like? We're all right. I'm glad my dad changed his mind and that. It's always good to have choices, isn't it? At least you don't have to work. I've got a job interview later on. <laughs> Why don't you concentrate on your exams? You did clever, you. I need it. Keeps me away from my mum, doesn't it? <laughs> that bad? Yeah. <laughs> you could come round after. We're ordering pizza. Dad's paying. Great. Not that your dad's paying, but yeah. OK, well... <laughs> Later, then. Some spicy chicken, Dad. What? I don't eat all of it. All right, birthday boy. I'll save you the last slice, I promise. Well, brain box, does it feel good to be back at school? Yeah, I guess. I'm thinking of taking that maths A level. Mm. I got an A in art today. Well, keep this up. We'll make pizza night a monthly treat. Hey, hurry up, Scout, before there's nothing left. Thanks. Oh, got your present. It's nothing right. I made it in textiles. But you've got to be safe, haven't you? Cheers. Well, go on, son. Give her a kiss. <laughs> Did you apologise to Zach? Um, he'd already gone, but I will. I'm sorry if I upset people today, but I, I did what I thought was right. You know, I'm sorry if I'm not perfect. Can we just come home and talk about this there? No. You go. I'm staying. Thanks for today, Matt. Sorry about being such a pain. From now on, if I see something or I want something, I'm just going to go for it. Well, I will drink to that. Cheers. So, is it true? Jez the cheat? No. No, I call it bias. What's the difference? Well, bias is more about... Well, it's about... Oh, we won. Who cares? <laughs> Tom, you in? 
Come on. You okay? I'm fine. Well, you must be able to see it now. He couldn't handle it today. He's let everyone down. And you're delighted about that, aren't you? No, I wanted more than anyone for this to be successful. You gave him an impossible task, Michael. Don't think I don't know what you did. Sean, don't be You're ridiculous. You're so quick to point out Jez's failings, but perhaps you should turn that razor-sharp perception on yourself. You're overreact. Again? Oh, you want to join us? No, I have to go. Think? Yeah, why not? Ronan? Yeah, it's me. Sorry, I should have phoned. I thought you were coming back. Yeah, well, that was all talk, wasn't it? I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I've been looking at stress management websites all evening. Good. I never meant to. I'm really sorry about what I've put you through today. I don't know what you want anymore, Vicky. I want you. I want us. You don't trust me. Yeah, I do. You've all I've got, close I trust you. And Maddie? Just seeing you two together, you, you just look dead close. And Maddie's a mate. She can help me run the business, keep this place going. You know, I would help you if you had the time. I know. We'll be fine. You hungry? say anything in front of the others, but today's march was a brilliant idea of yours. Thank you. You should have said something. I don't have a problem being praised in public. <laughs> no, I mean it. I mean, I know what Jez did was wrong, but that whole rugby thing, I mean, it just shows what vision you have for the place. We'll get there. Well, this is me. Uh, look, I'm gonna come right out with this. I've always found you very attractive. Why don't you come back to mine tonight? I promise you won't be disappointed. What's Ronan playing at? Is she battered him? Now he's going back for more. What, is she hypnotising him as well or something? You're actually quite scared of me, aren't you? You've dealt drugs before, haven't you? You at it again? I'm not! Heads pounding. Don't you dare. Oh, man, you're asking for it! Again! What did you say? What did you say?! <laughs> Next tonight, a close encounter with Predator X, a 45-tonne reptile in Planet Dinosaur. Then, Strictly's Elaine Goodman digs deep into his cockney roots in Who Do You Think You Are here on BBC One at 9.